Hey crew, what's up? It's Dr. Jared here at CrossFit Premium. We're going through 17-1, uh, some uh, prep uh, awareness points as well as uh, kind of recovery tips as well as if you're going to retest what happened. Just finished 17.1. It was uh, every bit of the grind that you saw last night uh, in the open uh, presentation. So uh, going through this, we look, we got uh, kettlebell snatch, or excuse me, dumbbell snatch, and we have burpee box over. In order to do that, we kind of drew up our prep here. We got a guy doing a burpee. Um, obviously, the things that we need to open up for that are going to be in our thoracic spine, so we're able to kind of open up through chest without beg borrowing and stealing from the low back, because as you'll hear, and as we've kind of uh, mentioned, this is all about being able to stay in your hips and out of your low back, and that was uh, every bit the, uh, the, uh, the reality of the situation progressing through the workout low back starts to get lit up a little bit. So the more range of motion you have through the thoracic spine, the more range of motion you have through the anterior hip. So we're saving this low back or even kind of recalibrating it through the burpee when we're coming up, the better. Uh, the other thing is kind of that bottom position of the snatch. You know, as we'll talk about later, I probably didn't hit this enough in terms of opening up the hip and the ankle and the knee, okay, and specifically the quad, uh, making sure things are open up through through, uh, through the knee to be able to get down into this position without kind of getting into that deadlift butt wink, so to speak, not necessarily that low one where you're in the squat, but kind of when you round through that back as you're trying, as you're getting fatigued and getting that uh, uh, dumbbell all the way down to the ground. So having a little bit more prep through the hip through the quad and through the knee and the ankle, so it's a much more available position, not only in the snatch, but then also when you're catching yourself on the box. As you get fatigued, things start to tighten up a little bit, and if that would have been a little bit more opened up, I think I would have been able to recover a little bit more on that burpee box over instead of have to kind of struggle through it. So look at this position, and that position has to feel very, very comfortable and uh, easy to find uh, before you start this workout. And then obviously if you have any shoulder issues, making sure this above the head position is real good. I have a pretty good above the head position. I've cleared that out pretty well over time. So I actually used that to my benefit a little bit in that set of 40. I did slow down a little bit on my cycle time, but I used this above the head position to allow things to calm down a little bit in the back and also ensure that I didn't spend too much time getting out of the, or uh, staying in that bottom position, having to set up there, bring the bar, uh, the, the dumbbell down, stand up, reset. The more I got my rest in that top position, hit the bottom, switched, and went, uh, went into the next rep. Again, as we went, talking a little bit more about the wad itself, man, take the, uh, you don't realize that you're not halfway through the workout until you're kind of somewhere in this set of 40. Uh, with your dumbbell snatches. So keep that in mind. If you're starting to get pretty fatigued towards the end of 20 uh, dumbbell snatches, you're really going to have to start pacing a little bit more appropriately. That said, try and get to that 85% exertion level where you're, you're hitting it hard, but you're not overdoing it. Uh, quads, again, we talked about saying, hey, we got to have these things opened up. If they're not, they're going to start to bark at, bark at you through the workout and lungs. This is a cardio burner in a lot of ways. Um, so, you know, in order to get better lungs, you have to really work on uh, your genetics. So it's mostly about praying in terms of recovering for your lungs. Good luck with that. With quads, what I'm going to do is mash and mobilize, just kind of get those reopened up, uh, hit the bottom position here, try and get used to that as well as opening up through that burpee, just to recalibrate balance. There was a lot of kind of bent over, bent over, bent over. I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to reopen up with the low back working in rotation and extension, using some foam roller, that's gonna work out real well. Again, with the retest, if we do this over again, I'm gonna spend a lot more time mashing through quads, uh, into the hip for a better bottom position to snatch, so I don't bonk so much and fatigue out in the back. Hope it helps, good luck.